Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley, and today I am going to be showing you how you can validate a password using C. So let's get right into it. Import these four at the top of your code, we'll be needing them for this tutorial. Then we're going to make a little function, it's going to be a bool is underscore special underscore character char C. And then we do return not is alpha C or is digit C. This is a helper function that checks if a given character is a special character. So is alpha checks if C is a letter, either lowercase or uppercase. And is digit checks if the character is a digit. The two vertical lines is the or operator. So if it's a letter or a digit, that means the character is a letter or a digit and therefore is not a special character. And the exclamation mark operator means not. So, not is alpha C or is digit C is true if C is not a letter or a digit. In other words, if C is a special character. And this is how we can check if a character is a special character or not. Because by default, a special character is something that's not a digit or a letter. So let's actually start doing our is valid password function. So we're going to do bool. Is underscore valid underscore password const char pointer password. So this is a cool way of how we can use strings in C. And I won't go into it, but you can use this for strings, basically. And const means we're not going to change the value of the password, because we're not going to, we're just going to check stuff, not change the contents of the password. And it returns a true or a false true for valid, false or invalid. And int length equals strlen password. This is going to get the length of our password. Then we're going to do if length is less than or equal to 10, return false. So if the password isn't long enough, it's invalid. I don't care if it's got a special character, a digit, uppercase, lowercase letters. If it's not long enough, it's invalid. So we do return false to indicate the password is invalid, but also we don't then need to do the rest of the checks because that would be inefficient and a waste of time. After that, we're going to do four booleans. Has lower, has upper, has digit, has special. All are set to false by default. And we're going to use these booleans to indicate if we found the following criteria in the password. Next, we're going to do a for loop. We're going to do for int i equals zero, i less than length, i plus plus, and char c equals password i. So this for loop is just going to loop through every character in the password, and then we're going to have a local variable for each iteration of the loop, and it's going to be equal to password i, so for current character in the password, we're looping through. Then, on the current character we're checking, we're going to check some criteria. We're going to do if is lower, has lower equals true. Else if is upper, has upper equals true. Else if is digit, has digit equals true. Else if is special character, has special equals true. So, is lower is going to check if it's a lowercase letter. Is upper is going to check if it's an uppercase letter. Is digit is going to check if it's a digit. And is special char will check if it's a special character, which we defined up here before. We have condensed this if statement down to one line per statement to make the code really readable and less bloated. But you can obviously do it like normal if statements like this if you want to. Basically, when we check a character, we're going to be checking all of these criteria. And then once we find a character that matches a certain criteria, we set the Boolean to true. And then once we loop through the entire password, we can then check, okay, is everything true? If it's not, then the password's invalid. Otherwise it's considered valid. So after the for loop, we're going to do if has lower and has upper and has digit and has special. So when you put a Boolean in an if statement, by default, you're checking if it's true. And with an AND operator, all of these have to be true for this return true to occur to indicate to where we call the function, the password is valid. After we're going to do return false because if we haven't called for return true, that means it's invalid. So we do the return false. Now, you might be thinking, Max, can't we just put this all on one line? Just do return and then the, this? Well, you can, that's our function. Let's do our main method. So underneath the password validation function, we're going to do bool is valid password equals false. Const char pointer password input equals this. This is going to be the password you want to validate. Is valid password equals is underscore valid underscore password password input. And then we do printf password is percent s is valid password question mark valid colon invalid. This is a ternary operator. 
There's an eye up in the corner explaining more about how we print booleans in C, but basically, percent %s is going to have a string put in place of where that percent %s is. And then we do a comma, we do is valid password, which is our boolean. We do a question mark. Here is the text we want to print if it's valid. And here's the text we want to print if it's invalid. So let's save our work and hit play. And it's valid because this is greater than 10 characters long, has digits, exclamation mark, and uppercase, lowercase. But what if we make this one, two, A, B, exclamation mark. Well, it's now invalid because it has all the password criteria except on the fact it's too short. Now let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, um, 1, and 2. This is long enough. However, it's invalid because it doesn't have all the special characters and the lowercase letters and the uppercase letters. But anyway, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and then subscribe and subscribe for more C tutorials. Thanks for watching.